Yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail in today's video, we're going to be talking about what you can expect when dailying a full Bolton E85 Camaro. Yeah, what's up, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gonna do, where you at, who you with You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from Alright y'all, so getting straight into this video, man. I just thought I'd go ahead and make this video for the dude who's in the market for a Camaro and wants to go crazy with one, or the dude who has a Camaro and wants to see what it's like when it's full bow time. As y'all can see, I thought I'd bring y'all out to the tunnels. So if you're wondering what you could expect when you go FBO, one expect depending on what setup you run, if you're running the same exhaust setup I run, expect to be loud as hell. <laughs> oh my goodness, AWE. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was a very good one. But anyway, um, expect to be very, very loud. But also, expect to be at the gas station a lot. And that's why. <laughs> bro, it sounds so good, bro. But yeah, man, really and truly, though, expect to be at the gas station majority of your time, bro. Like, legit, expect to be at the gas station at least twice as much as you are now. You know what I'm saying? Once you go full Bolton, especially if you go Catalyst and Headers, and especially if you go E85, E85 is a completely different story. But when you go Catalyst and Long Tube Headers, you run through gas, bro. I'm talking about run through gas, bro. Um, speaking on the E85 aspect, expect, and this is for any car, expect to have a hard time finding good quality, good quality E85, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, depending on where you're at, you might not even have an E85 station within a 10 to 20 mile radius of your, you know what I'm saying, your home, you know what I mean, depending on what city you're in, but even with that being said, you might mess around and have one that's next to your house, and they only have E30, but they say it's E85, so I would definitely recommend getting a flex fuel sensor, because whether you have good E or bad E, it doesn't matter with the sensor, the car will adapt, so I would definitely recommend going flex fuel versus full e85 on your tune like because that's mad risky if you're gonna go full e you definitely want to at least have a tester on standby that way you can test every time before you pump um other things to think about bro that like i've come across at least with my setup got to think about whether or not you want to tune your transmission 
Now, honestly, I can't lie. It all depends on your tuner. Because, like, some tuners will say, you know, oh, no, don't touch the trans. The trans is perfectly fine. And then other tuners will say, nah, like, we definitely need to touch the trans because we'll be able to adjust those shift points and allow your car to stay in the power band a lot longer. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Just be able, just be ready to, you know what I'm saying, know that there's multiple routes that you could take with the tuning. So that's another thing thing that i would uh also like to touch on tuning these cars especially the 2021s and up is shown to be a task for a lot of people bro you know what i'm saying so just make sure that you got the right tuner on standby and you you ready because this is like a lot of dedication when it's your daily driver because at the end of the day when you're doing modifications like especially when you open up the motor drop a cam and do a, a heads package and this is your daily bro downtime is a thing and then if something goes wrong which nine times out of ten might happen you feel me that's another thing this is your daily so it's just a lot of things that you got to be ready for it's definitely lit you know what i'm saying i love my car i love the build i can never keep a car stock y'all know me if you've been a part of the ji squad for a minute but i also wanted to let you guys know like you know hey if you're looking into getting a full Bolton Camaro or making your Camaro full Bolton or even daily driving a Camaro, just these are things that you need to know that, you know, most people don't really talk about because it's the little things. But at the end of the day, like, I feel like you should know this, you know, because I know that if I didn't have this car and, you know, before I had this car, these were things that I would love to have known or been told by somebody who already did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just thought I'll go ahead and make the video for you guys. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think. Um, did y'all appreciate it? Did it work for y'all? Did it was it beneficial? Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy JR. Let me know about them tunnel run clips if y'all like those. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, man. So just a little recap, you know, your fuel economy is gonna go very, very poor. Um, it's gonna be hard to find E85 depending on where you are. Um tuning is definitely a major thing with these cars um and touching your transmission if you really want to touch the trans that's a decision you're gonna have to make um because at the end of the day some people say you know i touch my trans and next thing you know my transmission blew or some people say i didn't touch my trans and my car is driving great you know what i'm saying so these are all things to consider all things to think about also you know what i mean modding the lt1 motor if you want to go boost wise um just know there's a lot that goes into that you know what i mean and obviously i'm not boosted yet but i know you know from friends who have gone boosted that there's a lot that goes into allowing these cars to run boost a lot of boost healthy you feel me so yeah there's a whole it's a lot of stuff to get into man so if you're ready for it then go ahead and do it if you're not then you know dug it out a little longer till you ready family but you know Without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's vlog, man. It's been your boy, J.I. Just thought I'd tap in and drop this little, you know what I mean? Drop this little gem on y'all boys, you feel me? And uh, yeah, do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Something that you guys, uh, if there's anything that I missed, leave it in the comments for the people who, you know what I'm saying, are actually watching this video because they want to know what to expect. Y'all drop it down in the comment section down below if I missed it, man. But I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one.